Alrighty then. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla. So I wanted to talk about having inspiration to draw every day. It's and how do you make time to draw every day? That's the thing. Inspiration and time are very close together when it comes to drawing every day. Now I always say that. Hey, you know, you need to draw every single day because it's like going and practicing a sport or anything at all that you want to get good at. It requires practice. If it's an it's an action or a career you want to get good at, you have to gain experience. That's true for every single thing in life. If you want to get better at something, you might not the be, be the best at first, but you progressively get better. I always suggest to draw every single day. Now you're probably looking at me and going. Uh, I don't. I don't have time. I, I have homework. I have a job. I have to get ready for college. Or if you're an adult, you're like, I have a full time job. I have to pay my bills. I don't have time to draw or paint or blah 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 blah. They're excuses. They're legitimate excuses. But at the same time, you can make time to draw. And I always tell everybody, draw every single day. And. This is the result. What I'm, what you're looking at right now. Yes, I know. I for totally forgot an E <laughs> in November, and I feel so stupid for it. But this is just a color chart for myself because after Inktober, I hit a little bit of an art block because Inktober has given me a prompt every single day to draw and use ink, and so I'm inspired by the word, and I try to figure out what can I use, what kind of of drawing can I use towards this prompt. So Huevember helps me a lot, and Huevember is very similar to Inktober or Mermaid or any drawing challenge that I usually talk about. But when I use Huevember, you just have to use a certain. And if you jump color. onto Google, you can easily see the Huevember chart. So that's what I was doing: was planning each day all the hues that I could use with my Copic marker library. I know a lot of them don't exactly match up, but it was as close as I could get because I don't have the whole Copic marker library. And if you do, congratulations! You're amazing. <laughs> if you have the whole Copic marker library, but I've just been. Just grabbing as I go, Copics as I go. I never really got the ABC package. So the Huevembers that I used were totally based on what markers I'm looking at and what would best match the actual colors. What inspires me to draw every single day? I do have a full-time job, and as you can see, I don't really have a great schedule for YouTube videos right now. And there have been a lot of times that I have not been able to post videos at all. But it's just crazy. So I try, even though I'm not posting as many videos, I'm still trying to draw every single day, and I'm actually like focusing on different parts of my life with drawing and what I can improve. On. I'm either focusing more on digital art, or I'm focusing on. In this sketchbook, I wanted to practice more action moves, and I think that I said that in my sketchbook tour of this most recent one, the one that I filled up the most. I said that I really wanted to focus on movement and not just people standing still. This is an exception because I really just wanted to make. A haunted mansion dapper day dress. <laughs> a haunted mansion dapper day dress because the,、uh, as you know, Disney Plus released the Imagineers series, and they actually covered the haunted mansion and opening it and what was its inspiration. It was really inspiring to hear all of that, and of course, I got inspired thinking,、oh, I'm gonna create my own haunted mansion inspired dapper day dress. Yes, making time to draw is really difficult. I can actually think this is the last drawing I've done in the last three days, just because life is crazy. But if you're passionate about something and you want to get better, you have to draw every single day with an art career. That's any anything. Like I said at the beginning, anything you want to get better at, you have to practice every day. And inspiration comes from many different places. You just have to look in the right places. When it comes to inspiration, I look on Pinterest. Pinterest really, really inspires me. Gets my creative juices flowing. Look, makes me think, what can I work on next? What can I be inspired to do next?、Um, colors really inspire me too. On my Instagram, I started to do a lot of procreate drawings and making my Disney characters a little bit more simplified, but. The main thing was I wanted to focus on different 
hues of colors combined giving it more of like a 60s look because that's what my husband suggested that i'd focus on steven <laughs> okay? oh my too. goodness there are times when you don't know when to draw or what to draw just carve out some time instead of sitting down and watching tv or an episode on netflix maybe draw while you're watching netflix which i do all the time and now it's just not netflix it's disney plus now <laughs> so now i get to watch disney and draw disney and anything that inspires me to draw in a disney style so the inspiration's everywhere it's just you carve a time to draw when i have open mornings i draw when i'm not working i wake up early just so that i can kind of wake myself up drink my coffee and draw and just kind of make me feel a little bit better get that stress out of my life because when i'm not drawing there's no way for me to de-stress because it's, a, it's either i come home from work at eight o'clock and i sit and i draw because it just helps me release a lot of stress and just craziness it's a way it's an outlet for me it might be for you to de-stress with drawing and focusing on different parts of art it might be painting for you it might be totally something different coloring coloring is a huge 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 help when it comes to stress or just anxiety anything in general it's a huge therapeutic exercise anything i think art is a perfect therapeutic exercise but yes i hope this was helpful i hope you found some inspiration in here and just maybe think about it um when do you draw i'd love to know in the comments down below if you draw every single day or at least a couple times a week or if you don't at all and you can't find inspiration i'd love to know <laughs> leave in the comments down below thank you for watching i'll see y'all later bye